Hello, welcome back to another episode of Andy Drinks Beer, the show where Andy drinks beer and then also starts fires in the garage. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Today's beer is Danya Chella. Now, I had to work on the pronunciation. So, Danya, Danya, with the tilde, but it's Chella because there's only one L. Is that right? Otherwise, it'd be Chea. Yeah. Uh, e either way, uh, fantastic. Latino beer produced right here in the great state of Minnesota. Uh, read you a little bit from their website. It's a 5% ABV and a 15 IBU. Uh, we are Minnesota's Lat Latino owned and lit and influenced beer company supporting uh, the accentuating uh, and accentuating the Latino communities of Minnesota inspired by our own upbringings. Our goal is to provide quality craft beer not only to those we serve but to anyone who appreciates beer with purpose culture and heart our for benefit corporate status makes us first of our kind in our country stay tuned as our company grows and evolves and we, we touched on this a little bit when we did uh, veteran beer uh, uh, a couple episodes ago but I, I do like beer where it is either you know local proprietors or beer that has a cause attached to it as uh, Danya Cello do, does and you know if, if you can make a great beer and it's kicking a couple of bucks towards worthy causes, whether it be helping out veterans or helping promote a, a, a culture. I, I love it. Yeah, I, I feel a little bit better than uh, sending uh, you know a couple of shekels over to the Netherlands, if you know what I mean. Uh, so looking at this beer right away, it's a, a Lager Brands, eh? or Brands Lager. Uh, so you can see you know the color, delicious, uh, golden, you know dark gold and. I like that it's Vienna, Vienna style, yeah. And now I, I'm going to refrain from you know dumping a lime in here as, yeah, man, 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 I mean, come on, but let's take a little sip. All right, so right away, you, you can tell that you, you have a nice beer that's got some some decent body, it's got great flavor, uh, but. You know that if you drink like four, five, six of these, that you're not going to be burst at the seams either, and and that's a hallmark of a great beer in my opinion, where it's you know take from Miller like great taste, less filling, except a beer that actually pulls through on that promise. Yeah, uh, this is also from their site. Uh, our first beer, a cleaner, refreshing Mexican style Vienna Lager, is a more powerful version of the popular beers produced south of the border, but still finishes smooth. Oh, they threw some shade. That's awesome. This beer pairs well with many hearty, spicy food, chicken, sausage, pork. Find it at restaurants. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so the first of our five criteria is this crushable or a sipper? It's crushable, but it is moving towards sipper territory. Well, you know, like they said, it's Mexican inspired Vienna, Vienna lager, uh, unlike the, the ones produced south of the border, but really in Modesto, California, if you know what I mean. And yeah, it, it packs a lot of flavor, and it th this is. This is a good beer. Now it's got a, a bit of an aftertaste to it, where it, it, it's not bad, but it's very intriguing. It's almost, it, it's almost got like a red wine aftertaste. Yeah, if you're drinking on like a, a Sav Cab or something like that, it, it, it's got a little bit of that. I don't know what it is. Is it tannins? I don't know, uh, but it's very, very intriguing. Uh, what food would go well with this? Well, I mean, come on. Yeah. I um, hate to go cliche on it, but tacos El Pastor. Now, tacos is a taco is a taco. And I, I respect all uh, food trucks that serve tacos. But if you're just dishing out the same old ground beef or, or shredded chicken tacos that you can get anywhere, any place, anywhere, uh, like your school cafeteria type tacos, nah. I, I love the places that are legit like the you know the the proprietors barely speak english and that's also a major key and they have the spit in the back where it's just a rotating and you're sawing off meat you see it a lot for for gyros and uh it, it's the same thing and then they're just shaving off shaving off just quickly flame pieces of pork or beef and then you put it on um oh you have to get the corn tortillas, and you know it's legit if they double up on the corn tortillas because they know that the, the sauce and the salsa 
and that sweet tender meat is going to leak through one, one tortilla. So you gotta have two, and then you, you just go to town. I'm, uh, I'm a little creme fresh. Uh, I, I really like cilantro, and also if you got salsa verde, yeah, hit hit me up. I mean, anyways, this, this one pairs very very well with a couple of those. Plus, I feel flour tortillas are just too gringo-y, you know? Yeah. Uh, number three, compared to a movie or TV show. Well, I'm going to go with Sicario because, you know, Latin, Latin influence and it, it's sneaky. It's not what you expect, but it's absolutely awesome and you can't wait for the sequel. I, I can't wait for um, uh, Don, Donna Cella's to uh, produce some more beers because they, they were just established in 2016 and they're starting to crank out uh, more and more beers and if this is the first one look forward to two three four five six Although I hope Sicario doesn't turn to police academy. Yeah, uh, what does this remind me of? well uh, I went to Tijuana just after high school with a group of friends it was some good times. Not really going to talk about it, but uh, I always thought, you know, thought about getting out of the rat race if you you squirrel away enough money and then you're just able to live off the grid. And I'm not talking about touristy like Cancuny type Mexico. I'm talking about you think of uh, Andy Dufresne at the end of uh, Shawshank Redemption, Zewatanejo. You know, just some small village on the coast or on the ocean and. You know, you, you, you sell fish at market, you take your boat out every day, and you, you, you just live a very quiet life in when a quiet, in a quiet village, and maybe you settle down with a senorita or two, and yeah, you, you just just live. I always think about that, but but then my, my wife says, no, no, yeah. Uh, so that's what it reminds me of. Uh, our rating scale, 1 out of 10, Ruben Studdard. 10 being the best, 1 being Ruben Studdard. How does Dania Cella Lager Brands uh, hold up? Even though I don't know why they're Italian. Uh, arrivederci. I'm going to go a solid 8.5. I'm going to go 8.5 Ruben Studdards for... Danya Cella's Lager Bronze. Yeah, so pick it up. Available all across the Twin Cities. And yeah, supporting the community. I always love beers that have a social message like that. Uh, mash that subscribe button on YouTube. Give us a like on Facebook. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. All at Andy Carlson Show for future episodes of Andy Drinks Beer. Hit it.